Hey y'all, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, what's up? But I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, um, it's because you are a returning subscriber. I know it's been a little hot minute since I uploaded a video. Um, a lot has been going on and that's why I decided to create this video. I do have to get ready for today. Um, I did start a little bit later than normal. So I decided to, since I have a lot to catch you up on, I decided to do a little get ready with me um, and share with you guys what's been happening, what's been going on since the last update that I gave you guys from the coffee shop. Um, I know I owe you uh, an update on what's happening. So I decided to do it as a get ready with me and show you how I get ready for my day. Um, <coughs> what I use for makeup wise, because I'm going to be very honest with y'all. I miss recording these type of videos for you guys, like honestly. Um, so let's talk about <clears throat> what's been going on. So if you're here for the first time, you need to go back and look at all the videos from um, the fact that from the first videos of us announcing that we're opening up a coffee shop. So we announced that we're opening up a coffee shop, if I'm not mistaken back in January of 2022, we announced that we we're opening up a coffee shop and um, obviously we have updates. So go back and check on the videos for like series, coffee series, and then the uh, recent updates that we have for you as far as the coffee shop. And as of today, um, December 5th, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even know what day we're in. Six actually. Um, we have no update whatsoever on the coffee shop. For my foundation, I'm going to be using um, my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful uh, Skin Foundation in the color 7 Neutral. Um, so we don't have um, anything, to be honest, to tell you. We are waiting on permits from the city to get the okay so that they, uh, an inspector can go and uh, um, look at what the plumbers did. Um, and I'll show you pictures of what's happening, uh, of what the plumbers did, that they pretty much did the plumbing and whatever, and we need, we need to get a plumber out there, I mean, I'm sorry, we need to get an inspector out there to, um, inspect what the plumber did so that we can close up floor and we can move to, um, and we can move to phase two. Now, because we went through a situation back in September that I'm going to tell you guys about right now. We needed to um, make a decision and make our, and, and do a second business. So back in September 22nd, my husband's birthday, um, we were celebrating his birthday. We had, we were in a dinner and um, he's been working for this company for over three years. Uh, number one rep in the region. Um, he's won multiple awards. Um, uh, he was driving and on top of the, from 600, uh, reps in the whole entire nation. He was between five and six, uh, the top five and six reps of the company. Um, and he was really devoted and he really liked his job. So we were having dinner, um, September 22nd and he receives a call from his, um, boss's boss with HR on the line, there were some things happening going on in, in the automotive industry. He works, he used to work for a financial institution, um, in the automotive, um, <clears throat> department. So basically he, um, approved loans. So <clears throat> he, um, there was some things going on with, with dealerships doing some things. Um, and they were running an audit and they came across the fact that, um, there was dealers doing things that they were not supposed to do. Um, so after like a month of doing like investigations and closing down the dealerships and whatever, um, they decided to let go of the rep. So my husband, um, pretty much got fired from his job and somehow something happened and they saw it fit to let the reps go rather than a department of verifications. I don't know if I, it's a little confusing because of the type of job my husband used to do. Um, sorry, let me just bring this down to my neck. Anyways, 
The reason why I'm telling you this is because it actually ties up to the second part. So my husband gets laid up and we're like, oh my God, what the heck? So my husband's like, it's okay. Um, things happen. Let's move on. So a lot of other uh, financial institutions know who he is here in Orlando. So he's like, that's fine. I'll just go work for another financial institution. But because of what happened, um, basically his name got um, really um, damaged because of what's, what happened with the dealerships. Um, very frustration. I mean, very a very frustrating situation where you are devoting yourself to a company and you're giving your all in your company and you're giving it all and you're um, everybody knows you're Christian um, and all of a sudden just it's over and your reputation is ruined because we want to. And because we live in Florida, it's a right to work state so we don't have the right to sue um, because of basically the Florida laws. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. <clears throat> so... My husband tries to apply for jobs and whatever, and honestly, because of his income, most of the other companies didn't hire him because they couldn't pay or even half match what he was getting paid. So my husband's been in the car industry for many, many years. Over 17 years he's been in the car industry. Um, one day, we are home, and I'm just in my bathroom, just cleaning, and I have the brilliant idea to tell him, why don't you open up your own dealership? I mean, this is what you've been doing for over 17 years. You've been on the sales aspect. You've been on the management aspect. You've been on the um, financing aspects of the whole entire business. Why don't you just open up your own dealership? And he was like, he looked at me and he's like, well, that actually has been in my mind for a couple of weeks now. So I was like, well, then there's your confirmation. So we, <clears throat> we prayed about it and whatever. And after looking for places to create our dealership, um, we didn't find anything. So we kind of gave up on it. We were like, all right, whatever. Um, I think we just have to do the coffee shop. But because the coffee shop has been on hold, we need an income. We need income. We need to pay bills. We have water, light, electricity. Duh. We have roof. We have, you know, we have bills. So I was like, oh, my God. So long, long story short, there is this guy who is going to be my husband's finance manager. He was driving home and he sees this huge ass lot. And he's like, I think this place is going up for lease. So he calls the person, eventualmente, that day the owner of the lot was going to put a lease sign for it. My husband's like, wait a minute, I'm interested. They do the calls, whatever. My husband, next thing you know, a week later, my husband is signing a lease with the lot. So this is the lot. I want to show you a picture. It is a huge, huge lot. We were looking for lots that fit anywhere from 7 to 12 cars. God gave us a lot that fits anywhere from 80 to 120 cars. What? When I tell you when you put things in God's hands, he will... He will Como se llama eso? Él te va a sorprender. Like, he's gonna go, he's gonna blow your expectations. Um, needless to say, we've been very scared because we basically just jumping at this with completely no backup money whatsoever. We obviously have savings that is covering our, our bills. Um, we have the coffee shop in the back of our minds. Um, not in the back of our minds, but we have the coffee shop going. This is really hard to talk to you guys and put makeup at the same time. We do everything for the coffee, for the dealership. We do licensing, we do inspections, we do everything in a matter of less than 45 days. I want to say we had the lot, we had, we had the lease, we had the sign up, we had, oh, and by the way, the inside, the little offices came with all the furniture. It came with all, the guy said, I will sell you all the furniture. And we were like, what? So the place had, Desks, chairs, laptop, um, printers, over, I think like 20 or 25 cameras all over the place, um, um, alarm system, I'm telling you, all the nine yards, that place has it, and it was like insane, it literally just fell in our laps, we were not looking for it, it is a, it is a little bit far from home, but it is a good um, growing market, so we are officially open for business, guys. Um, we are officially um, ready to start selling cars. We just need um, a few other things. But we already have all our license. 
to sell cars. And oh my god, I don't know how this makeup is gonna look. So right now we're just pretty much going to be working on the dealership i'm going to pretty much help him with all paperwork and whatever the county um decides to approve our plans for the city i'm sorry until the city decides to approve our plans to continue working in the coffee shop um so it's a scary opening two businesses at once hell yeah 100 <clears> percent <throat> Okay, so after I set my under eyes in everywhere, I put um, my loose leaf, my loose leaf, my loose powder. I, excuse me, oh my goodness. I go ahead and um, use a press on powder, a little bit darker. And what I like to do is I like to use it everywhere that I did not apply my um, baking powder pretty much. Just to add a little bit more warmth to the face because when I use the, the baking powder, I feel like I'm, when I use the, the loose powder, um, I kind of see that my face turns a little bit too pale for my taste. Alright, so yes, it is scary opening um, a business, two businesses from scratch. Um, but the cool thing is that the uh, dealership pretty much, um, it's already up and running. All we have to do is wait for the financial institutions to approve our dealer so that we can start financing cars um, and then obviously purchasing the vehicles. So, and that's it. That's pretty much it. And um, since the coffee shop is not running or working at the moment, we're going to be working at the dealership and obviously creating income, making income because hello, we are in the holiday season. So <clears throat> it's been a tough, um, it's been a tough road, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's been a very tough uh, two months and a half. It's been a lot of doubting, it's been a lot of scare, um, there's been a lot of um, crying, there's been a lot of frustrations, there's been a lot of, oh my god, can we do this? But week after week, we hear Stephen Furtick um, preaching and just reminds of that God keeps speaking to us, telling us, I have full control. Like, he literally has full control. Um, but it doesn't take away the fact that we're human, we're in our flesh, and we get really, really scared. So... We've just been jumping at these things just at a leap of faith and just trusting God 100% with everything in our lives, finances, business moves and all that. So we're just walking by faith, you guys. All right, so I'm going to do is I'm going to hop off camera because it takes a little longer and I'll come back. I'm going to do my eyebrows um, and then once I'm done, I'll come back and we'll continue talking. Well, for my eyes, I normally use either foundation, um, I'm sorry, uh, bronzer, but I'm going to be using uh, the Murphy 9R Metals um, bronze metal uh, palette. And I'm mainly going to be using these two colors right on the bottom. This uh, lighter brown with this a little bit more of a burnt orange. So I use the lighter color and I try to um, uh, place it on my crease. Um, so yeah, we are really excited. We are really scared, to be honest. My husband's super, super excited. Um, I still work, I'm still working behind the scenes with the coffee shop. I'm creating the website. We have merch. We have things um, going on for the coffee shop that I, I'm still working on. Um, and every day logging into the county website and <clears throat> Asking God to be able to see, instead of saying review, saying approved. When that says approved, I'm going to jump up and down. Not because the coffee shop is done. It's because we can move to phase two finally after a whole freaking seven months of waiting for that. So I'm going to use the darker um, burnt orange shade just to add a little bit more depth and definition to the eye. I'm using the lighter shade um, that I applied on my crease and I'm using that to apply it on my lid. Just so that everything has like a more cohesive. <sighs> why did my husband this? Why did we decide to open up another business um, instead of going and getting another job? Um, I'm, I know people have been asking. Um, I respect those of you who have a job that work for um, corporate world. I respect. I used to work for the corporate world myself for many many years, but we're just a number in the corporate world. We're literally just a number. And um, with no remorse, with no 
whatsoever. The day of his birthday, they just decided to let him go after many years of him pouring out his heart and bringing the region from zero to the like one of the top regions for the whole entire nation. Um, just by you're not longer, you're not, you know, we're not going to continue to use you. Um, and we're like, okay, but we have kids. Okay, well, I don't care. So we decided that we didn't want to feel like that anymore. We didn't want to go through that anymore. So we we're like, we're going to work for ourselves. We're going to create our own empire. We're going to build something for ourselves. Um, we're going to leave something for our children, other than obviously the gospel. Um, we're going to work really hard to have something for them that they can work for. Um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm using the Ella Loops face palette. And I'm using the brush, the bronzer, bronzer, the bronzer right here to obviously contour and warm up my face. And I've been breaking out so much lately and I know it's the frustration and the stress of not knowing what's happening, what's going to happen. Um, and I know it's taking a toll on my hormones because I've been battling depression for a couple of weeks now. Um, Although, again, we know that God is completely in control. We also are human. We are in the flesh, and we battle with we battle with things in the flesh. A lot of frustration, guys, you know? Um, but till this day, I want to be really honest with you guys. Nothing has been lacking. Nothing has been missing. My family has health. My kids have health. We are able to cook a home-cooked meal every single day and sit in the table as a family and eat it. Our roof is paid. Our cars are paid. So, yeah, there's some, sometimes we have bad things surrounding us, but we also have to open up our eyes and see also the good that also surrounds us and, um, like I said, my kids are healthy. We have a roof over our head. My kids eat. My kids take lunch to school every single day. So I had to be a little bit more thankful for these things. All right. And then all I do is I put my lipstick on and I put mascara on and I tackle the day. But I'm going to do that outside of camera. And obviously, um, I pack on mascara because I'm not wearing any lashes or any liner. I want my eyes to look bright. But pretty much this is all I do, guys, when it comes to um, my makeup. And obviously, I said it because I want it to last all day. But yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoy this update. Um, I wish that I can give you more amazing news in the coffee shop. I know a lot of people are just expecting us to just say, hey, we're opening. Trust me, nothing more than, <clears throat> than that feeling in the bottom of my heart is just that wants me to tell you guys, like, it's happening. You know, but it's not happening yet. And I feel like it's, everything is in God's time and everything is in God's hands. So just I ask that if you love me and love this channel and really loved my journey, that you keep us in your prayers and um, that God continue to give us strength to walk in this new endeavor and in this new adventure that we have. Um, and I love it because I get to do it with my husband. I get to do it with family. I get to do it for my family. So it's just a very... Um, it's at the beginning of sacrifice, but the reward is just going to be so amazing. Um, but yeah, um, if I have any other news, any other update, I'll let you know. I'm going to try, now that I have a little bit more time before the uh, dealership thing starts rolling, um, I'm going to try to do more videos for you guys. I really do miss sitting down and talking to the camera. <laughs> I really do miss doing makeup videos. Um, I feel like when I do makeup, like my animals se levantan, you know what I mean? So... Um, if you have any other requests, because I've honestly lost my touch of recording videos, what you would like me to record, I would, would love to record it for you guys. Just leave it down below. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for um, watching my video. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and Merry Christmas, you guys. Bye.